The industry-leading Dodge Torque Arm family of shaft-mounted gearboxes is widely known for its rugged design and high levels of reliability. The patented twin tapered bushing system that allows for easy installation and removal is one of the key features of Dodge shaft mounted gearboxes. This video demonstrates the installation and removal of twin tapered bushings for a TXT torque arm gearbox. The same practices apply to torque arm 2, motorized torque arm 2, or MTA 2, Qantas and Magna Gear gearboxes. This video is a supplement to the respective installation manual. Use all required personal protective equipment. Disable equipment using proper lockout tagout procedures. Gather the required tools. Bushing kits consist of bushings, retaining rings, hardware, a key, and backing plates. Install the backing plates on both sides of the reducer and secure with the retaining rings. Note, backing plates are pre-installed on TXT reducers. Next, place one bushing on the shaft, leaving enough clearance for hardware installation. Inspect the key. Most supplied keys are not square. They are often rectangular or stepped and can only be installed in one direction. To ensure correct orientation, measure the key with calipers before installation. All keys are marked with a part number and marked with this side up. Install the key in the keyway and verify that these markings are visible. Correct orientation of the key is critical. When installed correctly, the key should fit tightly within the keyway. Incorrect orientation can cause excessive movement on the shaft, resulting in damage to the bushing, seal, or bearings. Safely lift the gearbox into place. Align the keyway in the output hub with the key. Slide the gearbox onto the shaft and place it against the inboard bushing. Never use a lubricant such as anti-seize to aid installation. This can result in over-tightening and damage the gearbox. Place the screws with lock washers through the non-threaded installation holes on the bushing flange, into the threaded holes on the backing plate, and hand tighten. Install the outboard bushing using the same process. Starting with the inboard bushing, tighten screws alternatively and evenly to half of the torque value shown in the instruction manual with a calibrated torque wrench. Repeat on the outboard bushing. Return to the inboard bushing and tighten bolts in the same fashion to the full torque value. Repeat on the outboard bushing. Bushing installation is now complete. The removal of twin tapered bushings is simple. Safely support the weight of the reducer. Remove all screws and washers from both bushings and reinstall the screws into all threaded removal holes. On the outboard bushing, tighten all screws alternately and evenly, continuing until the bushing is released. Repeat the same process for the inboard bushing. Once both bushings are loose, remove the outboard bushing, the reducer, and the inboard bushing from the shaft. We have put product support at your fingertips. For our online selection program, visit ptwizard.com. For our e-commerce platform, authorized customers can visit dodge.ptplace.com.